Bologna is one of the most underrated, bustling cities in Italy. It's the historic capital of the region, Emilia Romagna. It's also home to the oldest university in the world, opening its doors in 1088. But despite its beautiful historic center, delicious food, and relaxed atmosphere, it's often overlooked by tourists, instead visiting the usual places such as Venice, Florence, or Rome. Yes, this may be a lesser known region, but I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Bologna is actually Italy's food capital. And that's exactly why we took a day trip from Florence to Bologna to visit the delicious Mercato di Mezzo. The local food markets are an Italian staple, a tradition that shows just how important fresh ingredients and quality food are to Italians. So we are in Bologna at the Mercato di Mezzo, about to check out the food markets. I had been to Bologna before, so I was excited to share this experience with Manny. By train, Bologna is just a quick 40 minutes away from Florence, and the Mercato is just a short taxi ride from Bologna Central. Since medieval times, the Mercato di Mezzo, which means the middle market, has been a place of flavors, encounters, trade, memory, and gastronomic tradition. After the unification of Italy, it was transformed into the city's first covered market and is now a lively place to sit and eat, cruise the small shops filled with an overwhelming amount of wine products and delicacies to take home, or have an aperitivo. You'll also find often tasting sessions or meetings on food culture. So let's get into what you really need to know about why this city is known as Italy's food capital. As an American, when you look at the word bologna, you can't help but think of the American deli meat, bologna. And you're not wrong to think that they may be connected, but I can assure you, you'll never find American bologna in bologna. American bologna was derived from the bologna mortadella. And the main difference is how it's produced. Both do come from a large Italian sausage, but in mortadella, cubes of fat break up the meat, whereas in bologna, the fat and meat are emulsified into one uniform mixture. Mortadella is also traditionally flavored with black pepper grains, but modern versions can also contain pistachios or more rarely, myrtle berries in it. I can tell you from experience that mortadella is light, airy, and simply just melts in your mouth. Another fun fact about eating in Bologna is that it's located just a few miles away from both the town of Parma and the town of Modena. These towns also in the Emilia Romagna region. Now in Parma is where you will find your official Parmigiano Reggiano, something I personally cannot live without, as well as prosciutto. And in Modena is where balsamic vinegar comes from. So being just a few miles away, Bologna's Mercato di Mezzo market is home to all of these tasty delicacies. So you'll want to make sure that you try them all during your visit. You're also correct to assume that bolognese sauce, or ragu, as the Italians call it, does in fact also come from Bologna. And what more perfect to have your bolognese sauce with, but of course, the local handmade stuffed pasta, tortellini, which again also originates from Bologna. And to this day, it's handmade with a lot of pride in pasta labs. Both the tortellini and the bolognese are both a favorite 
and a must in Bologna. We arrived at the Mercato di Mezzo on a Sunday afternoon, and it was pretty packed. The storefronts were lined with different aged Parmesans, different types and sizes of tortellini, and tons of meats ready for slicing. We ate at 051, or in Italian, 051. We ordered, of course, some delicious Italian white wine, mortadella, prosciutto, burrata, and tortellini with Parmesan cream sauce. This tortellini is so good. Oh, amazing. The food was sensational, and Manny was so wowed by how everything just melted in his mouth. Truly an amazing gastronomic experience. We figured that we'd walk around the city for a bit and then head back to get some more tortellini, but this time of course with bolognese sauce. Welcome to Piazza Maggiore in Bologna. It's right next to the food market. This is their most famous piazza. After visiting the famous Piazza Maggiore, and then walking over to the two famous leaning towers in Bologna, which, just a side note, in the Middle Ages, there were over 200 towers in Bologna, for which only 22 survive today. The ones we visited are the most famous and are now gated off because they're leaning so far. And yes, Pisa isn't the only place with leaning towers in Italy. We decided to head back to the Mercato di Mezzo because we wanted to this time take our tortellini to go, or takeaway, as they call it in Europe. Unfortunately, we found that no one would do takeaway for us, and we were way too full still to eat another meal. So we wandered over to the pasta company, Paola Atti a Figli, and bought an already made lasagna alla bolognese to bring back to our Airbnb in Florence. And I have to say, it definitely didn't disappoint. It was by far the greatest takeaway that we've ever eaten. So I hope that when you plan your next trip to Italy, that you now make sure that you add this culinary capital to your trip. Buen appetito. See you next time.